It's August 10th and it's about 90 degrees and very humid. It's about 7 o'clock in the evening and this is what we call a bee beard. This is the beard on the outside of the hive. They're cooling themselves. It's really hot inside because there's so much work going on. They're bringing in nectar, pollen, water. They're evaporating the water out of the nectar to make honey. So it gets pretty hot inside the hive as well. Here the bees are fanning the hive. These bees are probably two weeks old and their job is to circulate the air through the hive. You can also notice the different stripes on the bees' butts. Each queen mates with about, oh, maybe five to eight different drones. So depending on what that drone looks like, you'll get different patterns on each bee. But these are all from the same queen, but different fathers. Here. You can see as the bees lift their bodies, they're smelling the air, making sure that the bees belong in this hive. Sometimes there are other bees that will come in and rob the honey. So these are the guard bees, and these bees are probably about 18 to 21 days old, and that's their job in that point of their life. Now here's a varroa mite. What the varroa does is it, it's a parasite, and it sucks the blood out of the adult, leaving open wounds in this compromises their immune system and causes them to other infections and diseases. The Varroa came here in the U.S. in 1987. It started like in the 1960s in Japan and it's pretty much worldwide now. All hives have Varroa mite. A Varroa mite could be transported from a flower blossom to the hive. If the mite population gets too big, it can devastate a whole colony. And thanks for watching Team McDee's Bees.